how to manage the expectations of others. The expectations of others for you can easily feel overwhelming when you aren't well versed in setting boundaries or speaking up for yourself. However, learning to say no and making your priorities clear are important for managing these expectations. This guide will tell you how to manage the expectations of others. Set healthy boundaries with those in your life. Before creating boundaries with others in your life, you need to create boundaries for yourself. You need to take the time to decide what you're capable of and what you're willing to do for yourself and for others. Once you've established healthy boundaries within yourself, you can do so with others. Your boundaries may look different regarding different aspects of your life. For example, a co-worker's boundary is going to look far different from a boundary with a parent or a significant other. Depending on the relationship you have with the person, both of you need to set appropriate boundaries in order to function harmoniously. Make your priorities clear. When managing the expectations of others, it's also important to know what your priorities are and how to make them clear. When you're well versed in your personal priorities, it's easier to establish boundaries with another person. Setting priorities also allows the other party to create expectations that fit well within your priorities. To create priorities, take a few minutes to plan how you intend to spend your time. For example, priorities at work may involve planning a certain time slot for desk work, co-worker collaboration and breaks to eat and breathe for a little while. When your co-workers and superiors are aware of your priorities, they can create expectations during allotted times. Learn how to say no. No is a very powerful statement and many people are afraid to use it for fear of offending someone or hurting someone's feelings. However, gaining the ability to say no to others is a huge step in setting healthy boundaries. Saying no to another person will look different depending on your relationship with that individual. For example, saying no to a co-worker when they ask you for help on a project shows them that you aren't able to give the project proper attention. You may be too busy with other assignments or simply don't want to help. Either way, it's important to remember that no is a complete sentence. You don't know anyone else an explanation behind your answer. Be open to negotiation. Be prepared to negotiate whether you expect something from someone or the other way around. If you feel you need more time to complete something that someone has asked of you, try to negotiate a longer deadline. For example, if you're responsible for ordering a cake for a special occasion honouring a friend, try to negotiate the time frame you have in order to give yourself and the cake maker time to create a quality piece. Promise less than you deliver. When you promise less than you actually give to someone, you set them up with low expectations. When a person has low expectations for an outcome, they're far less likely to be disappointed at the end. If you already have several other priorities to worry about, make that known. This way, the other person can make expectations that are appropriate based on your availability. For example, let's say you're already taking on three big projects at work. If a co-worker or a boss asks if you can complete a smaller assignment for them, you can say that you have other bigger projects and you may be able to help, but they shouldn't give you a strict due date. In this case, you could complete the assignment in a timely manner anyway and the other party won't be disappointed. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.